everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel at the Anchor Desk with my partner, Clark Kellogg, bringing you the 2K Sports Season Preview Show. Here are the top five teams in the nation as we head into the season. The Ohio State Buckeyes come in as the number one ranked team, followed by Duke, North Carolina, UCLA, and Kansas. Anything jump out at you from those top five teams, Clark? Those are some terrific teams, Greg, and the thing I find most fascinating about the top five is the number of contrasting styles we see here. These teams couldn't be more different, and I love when we have that kind of diversity at the top of the pole. Ohio State is in the Catbird seat to start the season, sitting pretty in the number one spot. They're in one of the power conferences, Clark. Do you think they'll be able to withstand the tough schedule? It's virtually impossible to go through a conference schedule unscathed. They'll probably take their lumps, but it might pay off come tournament time, as tough conferences tend to produce tough teams. Duke is in the number two spot. They had a terrific record last season, finishing with 22 wins. That total identifies them as a team to be reckoned with in college basketball. I won't be surprised to see them reach or surpass that total again this season. North Carolina comes in as number three. They had a nice finish to the year, but it ended with a disappointing loss in the regional final. They were so close to the final four, they could taste it. And the memory of that Elite Eight loss should be all the motivation they need this year to work just that little bit harder. We'll see if they can get over the hump this time. UCLA starts the year as the fourth-ranked team. They were unstoppable last season, finishing with 30 wins. Winning that many games again is going to be extremely difficult, no matter how much talent they have. Not many teams play that many games, never mind win that many. They'll be on the verge of dynasty status if they repeat that performance. Kansas is the number five team. Everything with them starts with the men at the top, the coaches, and that's a pretty good place to start. This coaching staff is really highly respected. They always squeeze every drop of talent out of their squad, and I'll bet they do it again this year. I don't know if they'll overachieve necessarily, but they'll definitely live up to their potential. Here's the next group of teams in our preseason top 25. What do you think of this group, Clark? The upside of these teams far outweighs the downside. Expect at least half of these teams to finish the season in the top 10, and one or two of them have a chance to be right at the top. The Michigan State Spartans, the number 11 team, have stirred up a lot of talk in the offseason. Their tournament last year came to an abrupt end with a loss in the second round, Clark. It can be demoralizing for a team not to get past the first weekend of the tournament. They've had all summer to forget about that loss and instead build on the positives from last season. The Wisconsin Badgers, the number 12 team, have also generated a lot of interest. This school has developed a reputation for having some of the most rabid fans in college hoops. Walking into their building is going to be a tough proposition for a lot of their opponents. They can get that place rocking, and I wouldn't be shocked if they lose very few, if any, games at home this season. Okay, Clark, let's take a look at the teams that close out the preseason top 25 poll. How about this list? It doesn't get much weaker as you go down the list. Even near the end of the top 25, we see teams that could make a serious go at the national championship if things fell into place. I wouldn't count anyone out. The Syracuse Orange, the number 17 team, could be one to watch. They're ranked where they are because it's almost impossible to find anything wrong with this team. Nearly every team has an Achilles heel or a weakness, but this team is so well balanced, they're going to be a tough matchup for anybody. The Xavier Musketeers, the number 18 team, are also worth keeping an eye on. There's a lot of talk about what a close-knit group of players this team has. The idea of team chemistry is often discounted, but if you saw this team play last season, it's more than just a concept to them. I expect that team-first attitude to carry over and be a big part of another successful year. We now head to the part of the show where we break down the top players in the nation and show you our preseason All-American list. What you see before you is the cream of the crop in college hoops. What a list. What's your take on the first team at the top of the list, Clark? Fredette is a tremendous talent, Greg. What I like about him most is his ability to find the soft spot in an opposing defense and exploit it. And he can do it no matter how a defense chooses to play him. I have yet to see a team truly shut him down. As for our next first team, Georgetown he is more than willing to go into battle with him, Clark. Frey really is an elite talent. That's a given. There's plenty to like about him as a player. He's got that deadly combination of smarts and physical skills that makes him so difficult to defend. A coach's mentality in the body of a world-class athlete? Any questions as to why he's on the list? Next up is a player that's drawing comparisons to some of the all-time college greats. The Duke Blue Devil are fortunate to have him in their corner. Singler is a first-teamer without a doubt. He has such versatility. He can take it and rake it, get down the court with the ball and make plays. 
he'll be a nearly impossible matchup for their opponent. Let's move on to a player who's worked very hard to earn his spot on the list. The Arizona Wildcats can depend on a solid effort from him each and every night. William is the anchor of his team, and if they're going to the promised land, he's the one that's going to lead them there. We always talk about the guys with great hands. Well, he's got great feet. I love those happy feet. There are few players in the nation with better footwork than him, and that's what allows him to always be in the right position, whether it comes to rebounding or finding space for an open shot. And finally, we have another superb player to round out the first team. The Maryland Terrapin will probably get used to seeing him make the impossible look ordinary. William already has opposing coaches drawing up game plans designed to stop him, but it won't matter what they come up with. Give him too much room and he'll burn you off the dribble. Or play him tight and watch him find a teammate for an easy hoop. One way or the other, he's unstoppable. Now let's move on to the second team, All-Americans. Not such a bad list, huh? These elite players all have the potential to have historic seasons if the right pieces fall into place. The Georgetown Hoya have built their team around this young man's talent. I'd say that's a pretty good idea. Right, was a very hard player to leave off the first team. If I had to pick some front runners for the Player of the Year award, he would be right there on the list. I've seen him take over games even when he isn't scoring 30. There are some great scores among these All-Americans, and he's one of them but he does much more than score. The next player on the team is a sensational player in his own right. Duke is in for a great year if he lives up to his potential. Smith is someone you could look at as last season progressed and see his improvement on a weekly basis. I have no doubt he belongs on this All-American team, and I think the sky's the limit for him this season. We can all look forward to some very exciting highlights from this young man this year. The North Carolina Tar Heels are looking for a lot of production from him, and they probably won't be disappointed. Barn has terrific skill in so many facets of the game. It isn't out of the realm of possibility to say that he might even be a little bit underrated. I know it seems far-fetched to say that about a preseason All-American pick, but I'm not sure people realize just what a huge year he's in for, Greg. Our next All-American may have designs on the first team by the end of the season. Ohio State has one of the most reliable go-to guys in the country in him. Solinger was one of the first players that came to mind when I was thinking of the top ten players in the nation. The success of his team rests directly on his shoulder, and I believe he has the ability to take them all the way to the title. Here is the final player to cap off our list of All-Americans. The Purdue Boilermaker know who their fan favorite is going to be this year. Johnson is last but not least on the All-American list. His upside is higher than a lot of the other guys here because he has so much raw ability. He could jump to the first team this year if he harnesses all that ability into the complete pack. All right, Clark, that about wraps things up. On behalf of State Farm and the crew, I'd like to thank you again for joining us on the 2K Sports Season Preview. We'll see you during the season. So long, everyone.